Hi everyone! In this video I try to reproduce these few plastic pieces of my bevel grinding jig in metal with the lost wax casting method. I have already explained this technique in another video but I'll do it again here because I think it's quite interesting and some time has passed since my last lost wax casting video so yeah, I hope you'll enjoy this. This is the jig 3D model I made a while back in Fusion 360 and since aluminum is much stiffer than plastic I decided to make this hinge thinner and while I was there I also rounded all the corners to make it look pretty. Then I 3D printed this model with a special wax filament made by machinablewax.com that is specifically made for this kind of application. The tabs you see at the bottom were added to help the model stick to the 3D printer bed. The first step to cast this hinge is to add some vent holes and I found that using pieces of the wax filament is very convenient and it seems to work really well. To stick this to the hinge I used a soldering iron with a copper tip shaped like a spatula so that it can melt the piece together. Now I repeat this same operation to the other parts, but first I insert two nuts inside here so that they will be embedded in the aluminum and I do so because cast aluminum is soft and I'm afraid that tapped threads would wear out easily since I'll be tightening these two nuts over and over every time I want to change the angle of the jig. So here you can see me melting this cap over the nut so that it holds it in place. And I also decided to connect these two nuts together because I thought I can always cut them apart later on with the band saw. Next step is to add feeder. So I made this out of foam because it's very easy to shape. It can be glued to wax with hot glue and it burns out very easily with heat. Now I can start to prepare the molds. So I glue the wax parts to the top piece of the corresponding flask, again with hot glue. For the larger part I also place the flask over while the glue dries to center everything properly. This is regular white plaster. I am mixing some with a good amount of water to brush it on the models and this should help to fill all the voids and if this model had any, also to capture more details. After 10 minutes or so the plaster is somewhat solid, so I can close the flasks with packing tape, making sure to close all gaps and of course all the flask holes. Then I add plaster and fine sand in a 1 to 1 ratio and I mix them dry really well before adding water little by little until I have a nice and runny mix that I can pour inside the flasks. I also try to shake the flasks real well to help free all trapped air that there might be inside. After an hour the flasks are solid and I remove the top steel cover. Since there's only hot glue holding this, they are very easy to remove with just a bit of heat. I let the flask to dry at ambient temperature for a whole day to let most of the moisture evaporate out of the plaster without breaking it. Then I place all the flasks inside my heat treating oven to fully dry and cure the plaster 
and of course to burn out all the wax that will leave a cavity for the aluminum to flow in. This burnout process started early in the morning till late afternoon to let the molds raise to temperature very very slowly again to prevent cracking. With the oven now at 450 degrees Celsius I melt some aluminum and as always I degas it with sodium carbonate and I flux out impurities with light salt that is a mixture of potassium chloride and sodium chloride. Then I take out the flasks from the oven and I immediately pour in the aluminum while those are still nice and hot and I do this immediately so that the aluminum doesn't have to heat up all the mold and this should prevent the aluminum from freezing inside the mold and not reaching all the voids and details. All that's left now is to clean up all the pieces and to do so I use the metal cutting benzo and some file and rasps. And as always I really like the patina and how the ferric chloride smooths out the aluminum. So yeah, this was pretty much the last step and now we can replace all the plastic parts with the new ones that we just made. Finally completing the grinding jig. I really hope you enjoyed this video, thank you a lot for watching and see you next week, bye!